Okay, so my first biggest question okay. is, did you ever hear back from Nancy Joe? So that's really interesting <clears throat> because um, I didn't until I put a call to action. So she blocked me on Twitter once, two years into my sobriety, she started having a meltdown because E! News pulled footage of me at court and I indeed was wearing the BB shoes. Ah, and then she started attacking me, and I'm like, "Why are you attacking someone, a young woman who's now two years sober, about to give birth or have just given birth to her first daughter, and who's doing well with her life? And like, what are you, what, what are you doing claiming? with your life?" She was just having a meltdown, and so she blocked me. And if you go on Twitter right now and like message her or send her like a tweet regarding me, she will immediately block you. Interesting. Um, wow. And so I'm I put like, should out I do that right now? You, no. should. <laughs> <laughs> you should just to prove my point. Um, no, but the conversation for me was always about the way that media portrays women mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the fact that, um, it was never about the shoes. It was that you portrayed me in a way that I felt like wasn't fair. Yeah. And the shoes signified that I wasn't taking the court case seriously. It, it was the narrative that she was trying to paint. It was the narrative that she was trying to paint. And I believe it's rooted in sexism. Like, we don't speak about males who are on trial the way that we speak about females. I agree. And so I was like, let's have a dialogue. And so yeah. I put a call to action out on my Instagram a couple of months ago. And it worked. She replied. And I said, I want you to come on the podcast. And she said, why? And then we got into a really nasty, heated Instagram argument, which I posted all on my Twitter. You can find it. Um, <laughs> and since then, she wrote a follow-up bling ring piece where she only spoke about me. So it wasn't really oh, a follow-up piece. Right, it's like, right. I don't, it's really interesting because... She compared me to Donald Trump, <laughs> oh, <great. laughs> um, which is hilarious um, because the truth of the matter is this, like for whatever reason, Nancy can't seem to understand that a sh what she reported wasn't factual. Right. It was more than that. Like later in the DMs, she's like, you were at other robberies and blah, blah, blah. And like making all of these really, and as Somebody who is a journalist or calls themselves a journalist, yeah. you are held to a certain standard. Right. You cannot go out and be saying things that are actually not true. Right, right. Nick Prugo said, and I sent her literally a court document from Nick Prugo, like, or I posted it, where he said Alexis was only at Orlando Bloom's house. She was not involved yeah. with, I got... I think because of my show, I was the face of the bling ring. Right, right. Um, and so that's a really common misconception. Uh, but the truth of the matter is, yeah, Nancy, <laughs> Nancy went on to say that I'm obsessed with her, which I think is really funny um because she seems to be very clearly like obsessed with me. And the thing is, it's like the Nancy Joe meme and me do like living that up it has nothing to do with her right. she's just right. like a name right it has to do with the fact that that girl who can be that broken and have that big of a meltdown can now be a woman who owns a drug and alcohol treatment center who's nine years sober who's a mother of two who's been happily married for eight years who has a successful podcast who's like literally saving lives mm -hmm. like you can go from the most that. dark broken place and turn your entire life around and the fact that someone still wants to bring you down well and she can try all she that, wants it's right, not yeah. gonna happen like no but it's just unnecessary negativity I, feel like I will say that i'm really grateful and i know this is shady and bitchy but i will say that my book has better reviews than hers <laughs> <says> on Amazon. <laughs> and I'm really fucking proud of that. Yeah. Good for you. Now everyone's going to go one star my fucking book no. to like no, prove no. their point. They got really good supportive people <laughs> here.